What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and a bit more of a serious video. Um, a situation occurred last week. We all know what it was. I'm not going to go into that because I commented publicly that I wasn't going to cover it because that's exactly what these losers want. They are utterly forgettable in real life and they know that mainstream media cannot resist turning them in to superstars. Every single time something terrible happens, everybody rushes to stack the bodies like cordwood to build their soapbox and make their point, of which is completely unrelated. The very transparent actions of the person uh, responsible for last week's chaos was to cause division. I've seen people like uh, Tim Pool, whom I greatly respect, who is absolutely crushing it right now, uh, whom I've met in real life several times. I think we're on a reasonably good um, uh, uh, relationship level, uh, professionally, obviously. Um, say that this this division is unavoidable that um in this person's manifesto saying you know he said this is why i'm doing it i'm going to enrage you know the culture battle and that's exactly what has happened i instead want to not talk about this absolute loser coward uh, and instead talk about other cowards who are, again, standing on still warm bodies to blame gamers? What? And the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to remember these reporters' names. Now, I don't want you to contact them, but I want you to see very clearly, very plainly, that these people are not your friends. Games journalists in general, in my experience, don't care about video games. They care about pushing an ideology. And a lot of people will say to me, my detractors will say, oh, Jeremy's a alt-right gamer. Not. Not alt-right. I'm not even a Gamergate guy. I wasn't around during it. There's a reason I don't put that word in the titles of my videos because I know the people that watch my videos uh, aren't sucked in by it. There's a reason hack journalists keep putting it in their titles because they are read by absolute morons. Anybody who is in the know who was around during Gamergate or took literally 10 minutes to do the research after the fact, which is what I did, understands that it was a version of the culture battle. It was a consumer advocacy uh, push that went over the line on both sides at times. If I had to pick a side today, I think you know where I would stand. However, this narrative, this pathetic behavior by journalists is monetizing division, all right? They know the morons that read their regs see the word Gamergate or 8chan or poll or Trump or alt-right will click on their articles because those people are dumb and obsessed. And when they can put multiple buzzwords together, they hit it. That's how they make their money. They monetize division and hate. And I'm here to tell you that just take note of the people that write this crap and never read their articles ever again. Don't give them any mind. Don't read their articles after this video. Don't at them at Twitter. Ignore them. Because just like the moron that did the horrible things in this particular case, 
They are motivated by the same thing. Attention. Fame. Digital backpats. Retweets. And I'm going to show you three very obvious examples from people that work at Polygon, The Daily Dot, members of Reset Era, who are absolutely delusional, trash, that are only concerned about pushing their own agenda and not about anything else. We can see, of course, the initial push to somehow blame PewDiePie. And you see, you could scroll through Reset Era for days and see morons talk like this. PewDiePie says, I'm sickened that my name was used. And they say, yeah, right, you POS. Yeah, like PewDiePie had anything to do with it or that he endorses it. Like, how stupid can you be? Is this what sites like 8chan and 4chan breed? I'm sick to my stomach. That tweet isn't enough. What was What is PewDiePie supposed to do? How dumb do you have to be to blame PewDiePie or Candace Owens for the actions of a person that never knew them that just said that? This logic is like saying uh, Hitler drank water, you drink water, so therefore... That is how dumb these people are. That is how blinded by ideology they are. This is why these people will never be successful in life. Don't even pretend to be surprised. Yeah, PewDiePie making internet videos, he, that's what he wanted, right? Don't invite people like Ben Shapiro on your channel for a fun meme as a start. What? How are these people... PewDiePie is complicit. I mean, are you joking? Are you absolute? If you are a member of Reset Era and you aren't actively dissenting against that narrative, you are complicit. You are an idiot, blinded by your own hope to be, your thirst to be right about people. You don't really care about anybody but yourself. Garrett Martin of Paste writes, again, not about the heroes that, uh, as far as I know, there are people that stopped other uh, situations. Uh, what about the guy that came right at on camera? I've seen the video. There was one brave man who, of, of course, didn't win that fight, but he wasn't going out like that. How about, how about highlighting that guy? How about highlighting the other... Uh, there are stories of other situations where um, I guess there were other people involved and they were turned away. No, no. Let's talk about PewDiePie. Garrett Martin. It's time to talk about PewDiePie again. Is it, though? Is it? Did you have to write this article? No, you didn't. But you are monetizing this. We're not saying that PewDiePie inspired Islamophobic uh, <laughs> bad situations. PewDiePie's own actions, though it is made possible for people who might be who white supremacists, View him as a sympathizer. Are you... What? Maybe it was a cynical attempt to radicalize PewDiePie fans. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How do you sleep at night, Garrett Martin? In With your six roommates in a one-bedroom apartment, I imagine. Because you are pathetic. And then we see friend of the channel, channel Anna Valance. The one who single-handedly uh, raised almost $50,000 for exclusivelygames.com through a ridiculous hit piece. 
who admitted to my friends that they are afraid to talk to me because they know they are lying. I've invited Anna Valens on my show before. I've invited her to talk directly in DMs. She has admitted that she is afraid. Why do you think that is? Because she knows she lied about me. And here is an article that the Daily Dot hosted. 8chan is at the center of this, and the roots are in Gamergate. Ooh, gamers. I mean, these people, and there's a reason that I'm not mentioning certain names, or I'm, you know, I'm not talking about its relations. But again, 8chan is an anonymous message board. It is not, for all of its flaws, it is not involved in this. It is just, it is again, it's like saying that somebody goes to a gym along with a lot of other people, hundreds or thousands of people all use a public facility, all right? And one of those people do something stupid, therefore it's the public facility's fault? That is like, I mean, just follow me here. That is the absolute lowest IQ argument anyone can make. Oh, you guys both ride the bus? Must have been the bus's fault. You both breathe air? Again, remember this name. Don't contact this person. That's what they want. They write this article for hate clicks. They write this article for a moment of internet fame. They write this article to be relevant when otherwise they are not. They are very similar to this gentleman in New Zealand in that way. Then you see essentially proof, right? In the document, this is the only part I'm going to read. And don't read it, forget this person. Finally, to create conflict between two ideologies within the United States and the ownership of firearms in order to further social, cultural, political, and racial divide. Like. Literally, this is what this moron wanted. Right? And then you have <laughs> great tweets like, Post a full-blown manifesto detailing the fact that he knew he could snatch the media's attention and manipulate them to expand his notoriety, create division, and spread his vile beliefs. The media, once they heard, subscribe to PewDiePie. Exactly. And we can look at Andrew Todd, works for Polygon. Remember that name when you see the website Polygon or any article written by this absolute idiot, in my opinion. The person posted a manifesto on 8chan and shouted subscribe to PewDiePie before doing his horrible things. The internet is a 1,000%, by the way, so Andrew Todd, mathematics is not your strong suit. 1,000% a vehicle for right-wing radicalization. Um, one, obviously, uh, you could say 100%. Uh, two, I would say it's more of a vehicle for left-wing radicalization, in my opinion, based on the way that Twitter censors people and promotes far-left uh, crazy people and uh, allows people to stay on their platform even after saying vile, vile things. And then you can see, F you PewDiePie fans, your boy has too many scandals to write off this as a coincidence or an edgy comedy. His jokes aren't funny. Rip my mentions, but also rip people. Uh, rip the people who... Uh, wait, rip the people uh, taken by the guy who yelled PewDiePie's name before he did it. I mean... What? What? People are gone in my city, so don't cut me with your disingenuous. He didn't mean it, or it was just a joke. I mean, obviously, these tweets still favorited by 18,000 people, right? 18,000 absolute idiots. This guy writes for Polygon. 
Make no mistake when I tell you that games media doesn't care about video games. They use it to sell clicks, write rage bait, and try to cover ineffectively their hate for gaming culture. Any chance, any chance they can use to divide people rather than bring us together. Look, there isn't a, if there is anyone, a gamer in the world who unironically supports this type of behavior by anyone, send them out to pasture. All right. 99.99999% of gamers obviously disavow this. And you could say the same thing about anybody who is a human being. So to write these articles is absolutely disgusting. Anna and Andrew Todd. Everybody sees, everybody sees through this stuff now. Right? But you low IQ morons take the bait every time. And you use that bait to push your ideology. You are disgusting.